Screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about reducing your coding time with code templates. Now for many years I've been a Dreamweaver IDE user for my PHP coding, but recently I've gone across to the NetBeans IDE and so far I'm loving it. One of the many reasons I love using NetBeans is the code templates feature. But firstly, let me talk about NetBeans. It comes in packages for Mac, Windows and Unix based systems. It's free, open source and it's backed by Sun Microsystems. Traditionally the IDE has focused on Java development, but in more recent years the NetBeans team have packaged it up for various languages and one of them so happens to be PHP. You can read more about the features of the IDE at the NetBeans site and you can also download it there for free and for Macintosh it's about 23 megabytes. So let's get started with code templates. As you can see here I've already fired up NetBeans on my Macintosh and I have a very basic HTML web page. I quite often use the jQuery JavaScript library but I find it frustrating when I have to type in script tags into the header for each HTML file I want to include it in. I also generally pull the jQuery library from the Google Ajax APIs hosting rather than hosting it on my own servers and generally I forget the exact URL. This is where code templates comes to my rescue. I've set up a simple template already so that I just have to type the three letters GJQ which stand in my head for Google jQuery Hit tab and presto, it's all up there and I'm ready to start the serious business of coding my JavaScript. Setting up the initial template was simple. I simply opened my NetBean preferences, went to code templates under the editor section and entered in the code. From the drop down I selected the type of code I was wanting NetBeans to watch out for my abbreviations in this case HTML. In the expanded text section we type the code associated with our abbreviation. I want you to note here the dollar bracket cursor construct. This tells NetBeans where to place the cursor once it's finished expanding the abbreviated code. It's pretty simple hey? Let's look now at a slightly more complicated example. Another great framework I use is CodeIgniter. For those of you who don't know, CodeIgniter is a MVC or Model Viewer Controller library for rapid development of web apps in PHP. And I'm going to use NetBeans code templates to construct my basic CodeIgniter classes. So I have a new CodeIgniter web application that I'm developing and I want to set up a new controller class. Well, I've used code templates and set up an abbreviation CICNT which in my headspace stands for code igniter controller so let's type that in hit tab and voila now notice here that NetBeans has highlighted a field where I've told it that I need to enter in my controller name so let's call this class my controller and did you notice then that as I typed in this field other sections of the code below were automatically updated with the class name as I used it. Now that saved me not only time from hunting through my code to change it later on, but also potentially coding errors. And after I entered in the model name and press enter, presto, my cursor is placed right where I want to start coding. So I'm going to go ahead here and let it know the view that I want to use. And there we go. That was a lot faster. Now let's look at the actual template for this. Again, notice the dollar bracket construct, but this time it's around the word controller name. This tells NetBeans that I want to use a field to enter some data in as it expands out the abbreviation. If that same dollar bracket uh, field name construct was used later in the code template, NetBeans automatically inserts the value that we use in the initial field later on, just as we saw in the demo. Again, it's also worth noting the dollar bracket 
cursor construct which tells NetBeans where to place the cursor once we finished entering the field data. And that's code templates on NetBeans for PHP. Until next time, bye.